Hello everyone and welcome to a presentation today on Asian vegetable crops that are emerging and expanding in the state of Florida. Today we will start our discussion with bitter melon, one of the Asian vegetable crops expanding in Florida. Let's begin today's discussion by going over a general description of the bitter melon plant. This plant likely originates from East India or in southern China and is currently cultivated all across the globe. Bitter melon is widely grown in Southeast Asia, India, South America, East Africa, and the Caribbean. Bitter melon, if you notice, superficially resembles cucumber and is actually a member of cucurbitaceae, the cucumber and gourd family. In addition to cucumber, bitter melon is a close relative of squash and watermelon. There are two varieties of bitter melon commonly grown, Chinese and Indian bitter melon. Chinese bitter melon is longer, larger, smoother, and a lighter green color than the Indian variety. An image of Chinese bitter melon can be seen on the top of this slide, and pictured below that is an image of Indian bitter melon, which is rough and dark green. Bitter melon has many names because it is cultivated all across the globe, and these names include, but are not limited to, Goya melon, balsam pear, bitter gourd, and bitter squash. Now let us go over the morphology of the bitter melon plant. The leaves of bitter melon are simple in complexity, alternate in arrangement, and each leaf has three to seven lobes. The leaves are palmate in venation. You can see these leaf characteristics in the picture on the left. The growth habit of bitter melon is a vine. The vine is herbaceous and bears tendrils for support. You can see the vine growth in the right image on this slide. Bitter melon is a monoecious annual plant and has solitary yellow flowers. Bitter melon can be direct seeded or transplanted and can be grown in the field or in the greenhouse, making this a very versatile plant. The seeds of bitter melon are photographed here on the bottom left side of the screen. The seed coats are stiff and brown in color. In order to germinate, the seeds require warm conditions of 60 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and moist soil conditions. For highest germination percentages, water soaking and scarification of the seeds is highly recommended. In Florida, direct seeding can take place from March to April and from July to August. Transplanting can be useful because doing so expands the growing season of bitter melon. However, transplanting is in general more costly, so directly seeding is much more common. Because bitter melon is a rapidly growing, tendril-bearing vine, a trellis is very usually recommended to grow bitter melon optimally. For bitter melon production, Vertical trellis systems are recommended, um, and these usually reach about six feet in height. It is recommended to space the rows five to six feet apart, and to space the individual plants three to five feet apart. Because this crop is novel to Florida, there are no UF IFAS nutrient recommendations. However, Following that of cucumber can likely produce healthy bitumelon crops. Cucumber and bitumelon are closely related, so they can grow pretty similarly when fertilized with the same nutrients. The fertilizer recommendation for cucumber is 150 pounds per acre of nitrogen, 100 pounds per acre of P2O5, and 100 pounds per acre of K2O when at the low nutrient level class. This crop is a subtropical and tropical climate vegetable. When in optimal conditions, flowers and fruit will develop. The flowers are showy, large, and yellow. Bitter melon has separate male and female flowers. Images of the bitter melon flowers can be seen on the left half of the screen here. Bitter melon flowers are self-incompatible, so cross-pollination by insects is required to produce fruit. Seeds can be harvested from the mature fruit, and the seeds can also be saved for next year's planting cycle. Multiple harvests can be done for the same um, planting cycle. 
When harvesting fruit, choose the young ones that are light green with soft white flesh. Additionally, it's recommended to harvest during cool temperatures. This is because it can help to minimize moisture loss. Unfortunately, bitter melon is susceptible to numerous pests and diseases. First, there is downy mildew. This is a common foliar disease of cucurbitaceae. When infected, symptoms showcase as water-soaked leaves with yellow angular lesions on the upper surface. Also, there usually appears to be a whitish to gray powdery growth on the underside of leaves. There is also powdery mildew, of which bitter melon is also susceptible. Powdery mildew occurs when the temperatures and humidity are high. Infected plants have a white powdery residue that appears on the top surface of the leaves. Additionally, defoliation is a common symptom of powdery mildew. Fusarium wilt is another common disease of bitter melon. This causes a temporary wilting of runners and the yellowing and wilting of leaves. Bitter melon is also susceptible to target leaf spot. This disease is common to cucurbitaceae, in which yellow angular lesions occur. Root knot nematodes are a common pest of bitter melon and to the larger group of cucurbits as well. These pests are more common and cause more damage in sandy soil conditions. When present, root knot nematodes cause a yellowing of the foliage, reduced number of the leaves, wilting of the vine, and overall yield loss. They disrupt the vascular system and can cause root necrosis. Weed pressure can be an issue with growing bitter melon, but application of black plastic mulch has been shown to be effective in controlling many weeds in bitter melon cropping systems. The most common use of bitter melon is eating it cooked as an unripe vegetable. The unripe fruit is cooked and has a strong but pleasantly bitter taste. If the bitter taste of this fruit is unappealing, soak the bitter melon in heavily salted water for one hour before cooking. This process extracts the bitterness. Interestingly, there is no standard for this fruit. Bitter melons of all different shapes and sizes are harvested and sold to a variety of markets. The arrow of the seeds are also edible. An arrow is a specialized outgrowth from seeds that completely covers them, the, and the fruit turns yellow to orange and becomes very tough at maturity. You can see an image of this orange, yellow, tough, mature fruit on the bottom of the slide. The unripe fruit, on the other hand, which is pictured on the top of the slide, is incredibly nutritious. It contains high concentrations of vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, as well as many mineral nutrients, including calcium, phosphorus, potassium, and iron. It can be harvested and cooked when the fruit is green or slightly yellow. Not only is bitter nutritious, it is also incredibly medicinally important. Bitter melon has been used in Asian and in African medicine systems for an incredibly long time. This is because bitter melon has been shown to reduce blood sugar levels, have anti-cancer properties, and anti-obesity effects. The ability that bitter melon possesses to lower blood glucose levels is particularly beneficial for those patients with diabetes. Bitter melon has been shown to lower blood sugar as a standalone product or as a supplement because it's been shown to have additive effects when taken with other substances that lower blood glucose levels. Interestingly, some components of the extracts of bitter melon have been shown to have structural similarities to animal insulin. Extracts of the fruit, juice, and dried powder have been shown to have a mild hypoglycemic event effect. In clinical studies, the dried fruits in the extracts uh, were the patient preferences. Bitch melon is even sold as a dietary supplement. 
In vitro studies have found that there are antiviral and antineoplastic activities of bitumelon. And one fun little fact about bitter melon is that it has been shown to slow the graying of hair. Correctly cooking bitter melon is easy and fun to do. The first step is to cut the bitter melon in half and scoop out the seeds in the middle of the vegetable and leave the rest. Next, slice the bitter melon into even pieces. The pieces should resemble ridged semicircles that are roughly half an inch thick. Cutting the vegetable evenly helps to make sure that it gets cooked evenly throughout. After that, boil the bitter melon slices. Do not skip this slip, otherwise the vegetable will be too bitter to eat. After a few minutes of boiling, add to a pan to saute in an oil of choice. Cook the bitter melon until the texture changes to soft enough to be pierced with a fork. Serve warm and enjoy. Bitter melon can be eaten plain or incorporated into other dishes. In Chinese cooking, bitter melon is commonly used in stir-fried with pork. In northern India, it is usually stuffed with spices and served with yogurt. And in the Caribbean, it is usually sautéed with garlic and with onions. Also, another way to interestingly prepare bitter melon is to juice it. Here is the nutrient content analysis for a 100 gram serving or one cup of bitter melon. Here are some references and further reading. For more information, visit the EDIS page on the Emerging Crop Bitter Melon. This concludes our section discussing the plant bitter melon. Thank you.